AT&T has pretty good cell coverage, but even so, there are a lot of times where you'll find yourself with weak cell phone coverage or none at all. Today, I'll show you how to get better cell phone coverage with AT&T, or at the very least, make the most of what you've got. I'll start off with a few tips that can help you out with your cell phone signal. It can be as simple as rolling down the window in the car or being in the right spot at home. Materials buildings and vehicles are made out of, like metal, concrete, and even window tint, can reduce the amount of cell signal passing through and can sometimes even block it completely. Rolling down or opening a window removes one more obstruction blocking the signal from reaching your phone. You can also try turning off LTE for better calls. LTE signal and 3G signal for calls and texts are on different frequencies. You may find that at a given location you're getting good 3G signal but your LTE isn't so great. If calling over LTE is turned on, your phone will try and use LTE instead of 3G signal and you'll be stuck. Turning off LTE will allow you to use your 3G service instead and make the call. It's easy to check the signal levels of LTE and 3G to see which one is stronger at your location. Check out this video to learn more about this. If you're at home, make a signal map of your house. Walk around your home and write down the signal level in each room. This way you'll know which areas of the house get decent cell signal and can go to that spot to make a call. You can do this with the bars on your phone, but they're not very reliable. Instead, put your phone into test mode. This will show you a much more precise numerical reading of your signal. This is available on Android or iOS devices, and it's easy to do. Check out this video and we'll walk you through the process. Another tip when checking the signal level at your home is to be patient. Your phone will usually take a while to update the signal level, sometimes up to a minute. So make sure that you stay at each location for long enough to make sure that the signal has updated. Once you know which side of the house gets better service, you can leave the phone on this side of the house so you won't miss a call. If you're setting up a signal booster, which we'll get into later, this is also very useful information to know, so you can direct your antenna towards the tower. We've got a video here showing you how to find your nearest cell tower. If you want to fix the problem and improve the cell signal that you're getting instead of just doing workarounds, then you've got a number of options. Why not try Wi-Fi calling? In a nutshell, Wi-Fi calling offloads your calls to the internet through your wireless router instead of using a cell tower. If you live in an area with weak cell signal or the building you live in is blocking the cell signal from getting inside, then Wi-Fi calling is a great choice. Wi-Fi calling from AT&T also doesn't use your minutes. So if you're running low one month or you just need to save up some minutes, then flip Wi-Fi calling on and you can make all the calls you want from home. Wi-Fi calling is easy to set up and it works with most cell phones. Check out this video and we'll walk you through how to set up Wi-Fi calling at your home. This won't help you in your car, but at least you can call from home now. Another option for your home is a microcell. A microcell creates a small area of cell signal in your home using the internet. You plug the microcell into your router and it will create an area of cellular signal about 40 feet from the base station. Up to four people can use their devices at the same time while within this coverage area. There are no monthly fees for using a microcell. It will just use your allotted minutes like any normal call. One thing to know is that a microcell only works for AT&T customers. Any other carriers within its broadcast range won't be able to connect or use the microcell. So if you live in an area where there's no cell service, or you just can't get cell service within your building, but you have internet access, then a microcell might just be the right fit. To learn more about microcells, or to see how to set one up, then check out this video right here. Another great option for staying connected with AT&T is a cell phone signal booster. These come in models for buildings or vehicles, so you can stay connected while at home or on the road. A signal booster works with any phone and any carrier, and you can have as many users as you like using it simultaneously without a problem. A signal booster works by taking weak cell signal, boosting it, and then sending strong signal to your phone and back to the cell tower. There are a number of booster models available to fit any home or vehicle, so you're sure to be covered no matter your situation, and you won't need an internet connection to make it work. If you'd like to know more about cell phone signal boosters, then check out one of these videos here, or visit us online. 
We've also got links to all of the options below, so click on any of those for more information on any of these devices. And please subscribe to our channel. We release videos like this every week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.